Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through what is a subgraph, guys. Okay, so from the name only, you can say that it is a part of a graph, right? So what is a subgraph, guys? So subgraph is nothing but simply you can say it is a part of a huge graph, right? Yes. So in simple words, you can say, suppose there are two graphs. One is a H and one is a G with the vertices V2, E2, V1, E1. Okay, so H1 is a subgraph of a G. So here we are saying H is a subgraph of a G. So indirectly G is the parent graph or the big graph you can say. And G is the children graph or the subgraph or the small graph. Okay, of H is a set of graphs. Okay, so set of edges of H is a subset of graph. Okay, okay. So this is the main graph guys. Okay, so if you observe here, this is the huge graph, right? So it is having all the vertices and everything. So a small part of this graph, so the upper part or the lower part or this part. So I, I let me draw them with other pen guys because, okay, just give me a second. Okay. So you might be selecting this path, right? Okay. So this is a subgraph. Similarly, this is a subgraph. Similarly, this is a subgraph. This is a subgraph. This is a subgraph. Like there are multiple subgraphs, right? So from a huge graph, if you take a small graph, that small graph is nothing but a subgraph of this graph. Simple, right? Yes. So every graph is a subgraph of itself. So if someone says that this is a graph and this is a subgraph, is it true? Yes, that is true. Okay. So every graph with n vertices is subgraph of complete graph of k of n. Okay. So assume that this is a graph guys and this is the complete graph for this particular graph. Right. So here we are having four vertices and this is nothing but k4, right? Complete graph 4. Okay. So indirectly any graph, any complete graph is a parent or any subgraph is a so is a subgraph of the complete graph so any graph is a subgraph of the complete graph guys okay so this is also a small theorem or small thing that you should remember okay so i hope everyone got a small idea about what are subgraphs and how they are represented and some two basic conditions about subgraph okay so in the next lecture we'll be going through some basic representation of a graph in terms of adjacency matrix okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching